Some survival game servers use these blob plugins that create particles every time you hit a mob. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do that in complete vanilla Minecraft. To start we need to detect when the player hits a mob. Well, you can do that using this uh, objective. Just give it the criteria type stat dot damage dealt. So it's gonna be set to 1 every time you hit a mob. Now you'll need to create a clock and attach this uh, command block to it. That's gonna set it back to 0 every time it's being set to 1. And then this comparator is gonna output every time that happens. So as you can see here, when I set my score to 1, that will trigger this. And that's gonna make the delay a bit longer. And then that's going to trigger these detector reel over here, or the activator reel over here. And that's going to trigger that command block in a minecart, as you can see over there. Now, even though this minecart is below the zombie, it's actually riding it. You can create it using this command here, but I'll put it in the description because it's quite a long command. I did not come up with this myself. I got it from High Folk Sam Adam. I'll put a link right here. Anyway, what's happening? Uh, there are inverted slimes. Uh, riding the uh, zombie and then there is the minecart that is riding the slime so it's actually below it the, and that's making sure that the zombie is still moving and the minecart is just following the zombie now all you have to do is make the command blocks in the minecarts create a redstone block and remove it really fast I'll give you a quick example this command is gonna create a block and this one is gonna remove it again so just send it to air and uh, put destroy behind it so you get the particles now when I power this you can see it's gonna create a stone block and remove it really fast you can even do this without the repeater and then you'll see only the particles so quick recap detecting when the player hits the mob then powering the activator reel and that's gonna power the command block in the minecart that's gonna set a block and remove it really quickly so that's it for today I hope you learned something and thanks for watching